Hello everyone, so I am super excited. As you can see, we have Olaf and Simon in the split tank. Um, we're starting the introduction tonight. Um, since Olaf was already living alone and Simon is now living alone, I decided we should introduce them to each other. So we built a split cage and now they're getting to know each other. So I will have more details about the whole introduction process later. Like. I'll probably be making vlogs or something about it, but this video is going to be showing you how we built the cage, so let's get started. So to kind of explain what we're doing here, we have um, the 10 gallon tank, which is what we're splitting up, and these are the aluminum channels. We got two sizes that kind of go into each other. I don't know if you can see that very well. I wish I remembered what size they are though. But we got two four foot long pieces so that we had enough room to screw up. And these are the two different sizes, what they look like. So what we did, or actually my dad did, was took a Dremel. It was a Dremel, right? And he cut these little edges. I wish the camera would focus. He cut these little edges here. That's even worse. So that we can take... Here's the bottom set. This goes on the bottom, and then we have two sets for the sides and they can meet up like that perfectly and we're going to be using aquarium sealant which I have here just 100 percent silicone and putting the pieces like this in the middle and the bottom piece on the bottom and the two side pieces on the sides and then the smaller pieces are going to be used um, sort of as an outer casing for the hardware cloth. And we have quarter inch galvanized steel hardware cloth, which is the main part of the divider. And then just on the top, we have a wooden dowel that my dad cut so that we can stick it on top of the hardware cloth. And <laughs> everything's falling apart. So that's what we're just about to do. And I'm going to pause the video so we can put it all together. Yay! So here's what the divider is looking like right now. What we ended up doing is cutting. I can show you here these little plastic pieces. Um, are pieces that we cut out of the edge, which has already been chewed up by gerbils. But we just did that so that the divider would be able to slide in with no problem. Um, we haven't, I haven't siliconed it at all yet, I just opened it and popped the cap. And that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to be lining, you can see here I have the two separate parts. I have the inner piece, which has the mesh in it, and I have the outer piece, which I'm going to be silicone gluing around, around the bottom and up the other side on either side so those pieces are being glued to the tank the smaller pieces are not being glued to the tank they're being glued to the mesh and then it's going to be one square or rectangle piece that can be slid out and I will show you what it looks like after I finish gluing the outer edge so I've got the outer rim sealed into the tank finally and this stuff is incredibly hard to get out of the bottle and also incredibly messy just so you know but you can see I've just lined it with aquarium sealant and it's all in there and it needs 24 hours to dry 
So now I'm just going to be doing the same thing to the mesh with the two side pieces and the one bottom piece. So I'm pretty much done now. I just put sealant inside of the channel and then stuck the um, mesh in the channels and it is currently just drying. Um, so here's the divider and here is the track and so you can see there's a pencil in there and that is because this piece here was getting stuck um, in there and that wouldn't end well. We wouldn't even be able to get the divider out. So um, I put a pencil in there so that it would kind of lift it a bit so it would be a lot easier to get out. Anyways, I'm sorry about the noise. My mom is watching a show with cute animals and laughing at them. Hi mom. And anyways, that's about it. And the tank is pretty much done and I will do a video tomorrow when it dries. Sorry about the lighting, it's dark outside as you can see. But it has been 24 hours or just about and the tank is done drying. I'm super excited. It's all done. As you can see we have a lid. This is one that I bought but you can also make them out of the wire mesh so leave a comment if you'd like to see that video because I am planning on making one for the big tank. So the divider, if done correctly, should just slide in and out. And you can take it completely out, but I just don't feel like doing that right now. So anyways, it is perfectly done. You can see the adhesive is dry all around. And it fits perfectly. So I'm super excited. I'm just about to put the gerbils in it. And I will be doing update videos throughout the introduction, so be sure to stay subscribed so you can keep up on the introduction process, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!